My name is Melanie Stair. I'm the Chief Mine Engineer at Nutrients Quarry Mine Site. My role as part of the underground team at, uh, at Quarry um, is to lead uh, the mine engineering department. So I have 12 people on my team um, made up of engineers, uh, we have a geologist and mine technicians, and we also have a couple of interns right now. So we are responsible for um, underground mine ventilation, we're responsible for ground control, um, which is, is all about safety and, and being safe underground, and uh, geology. And then we also have surveyors that, uh, that get to mark up and, and sort of set up lasers and tell us where to go. My career path was, was definitely not a linear one. Um, in high school, I, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I had some interest in, in math and science and, and uh, really liked architecture. Um, but I, later in my high school career, I kind of fell in with the wrong crowd and made some bad decisions and I dropped out of high school. I um, made the, the good decision to go back and get my grade 12 when I was 22. And, um, and then when I was finally, when I became a mother that I decided that I wanted to do something better for my son and for myself. And, uh, and so I started uh, engineering when I was 28 years old at the, at the University of Saskatchewan. So I went back to my, my original interest and my original love, which was in architecture and, uh, and math and science. And I, I really thought that I wanted to be a civil engineer, so a structural engineer. And uh, that's the, the path I started on when I was 28. So uh, went into university, at, at U of S, the, the geological and civil programs are, are the same, or they were the same at the time for the first two years. So after that second year, um, I, I was able to make, make the choice if I wanted to go into geological instead. The reason I chose geological was because of mining. So we had a, a general engineering class in, in, I think it was second year, and we got to do um, a couple of mine design problems. And uh, I was fascinated by it and loved the idea of working underground. So uh, changed my discipline, um, had a little bit of, of pre-grad work, um, working up at a couple of mines up north, and, uh, and then got on with Corey as a student. In my, in my second last year and uh, worked underground there and loved it. And uh, they luckily hired me on full time uh, when I got my degree. So I started there as a mine engineer and, uh, and worked my way up and now I'm the, the chief mine engineer out there. In, in this role, um, you, could, you could have really any kind of a, a engineering degree that has a, a mining background or mining component. Um, many of the engineers on my team uh, come from the geological program and now at, at U of S the geological program actually has a, um, a, a mining minor I guess you would say or a mining option so they get um, some of those basic courses uh, to, to you know make you more competitive coming into the mining industry with a, a geological engineering degree. But we have also seen um, other mine sites where the, the person holding this position is a, is a geologist. So their title would be chief geologist rather than, than chief mine engineer. And then other people uh, that, that work in the mine engineering department, we have a civil engineering technologist that we use as a surveyor. Um, and then we have two uh, mining engineering technologists that came from uh, SAS Polytech. So um, we also, they also do surveying tasks for us and then do some of the uh, technical data gathering underground as well. Mine, mining is, is quite different, but nobody has experience in mining before they have experience in mining. So um, the good thing with, with Nutrien and with Potash, it's so niche, but, but the company knows that. And we just, you know, we want good people and, and, uh, and we know that we can train them with the skills that they'll need to do the work that we need them to do safely. Um, but yeah, an eagerness to, to jump in and learn new things. There's a lot of um, um, strategizing and problem solving in, in my team and, and that kind of makes up our, a lot of our day to day. So, so an interest in, in those things. I, I have interns that, that apply and, and when they interview, they if they have like 
food service or you know any any type of pre or in high school if they've had a job pumping gas or just interfacing with the public they tend to downplay that stuff in interviews and because they don't have mining experience well, I don't have any mining experience and and I do have an example of what you're asking for but it comes from working in a restaurant and uh, and I think and that's so valuable to to have worked with people and and to had you know you have to handle difficult people and challenges in those workplaces and and um, I really value that as a hiring manager, um, those different, different experiences, because we can give you the mining stuff, right? So mining is, is probably viewed as a little humdrum and a little day-to-day -day and, and same repetitive um, stuff. But uh, in reality, we're, we're working in a commodities market and, and we react to the market. So we have to uh, re-strategize. So one of the other things that I didn't mention that my team is also responsible for is long range planning. So whatever the market is demanding um, at the time, uh, we really have to react to and, and sort of be flexible and re-strategize uh, because that'll dictate um, how much product we have to push out. So, so lots, of, lots of problem solving and, and strategizing in that sense and, um, and an ability to be adaptable and flexible uh, when market conditions change. My advice to anyone that wants to get into to engineering specifically in a mining setting or otherwise um, would be that you know there is some time if you do decide that you want to apply to engineering and uh, and you're not sure what discipline you want to choose mining or otherwise um, there's some really good general engineering content in that in that first year before you ever have to choose your discipline and then um, much like myself uh, you can make that choice to switch later if you're interested in doing that so my advice to anyone um, from from maybe an underrepresented group that's interested in, in moving into a career in mining is, is really just to go for it. Mining right now, um, highly technological, lots of innovation happening, and we want diverse teams, right? We want people who, who think different and bring new ideas to the table. You know, it's that old example of if you have 10 people in a room and you ask them to come up with five different ideas each, how many are you gonna get? Well, you could get 50 if they all think differently, or you could get five, right, if they all think the same. So we want people, diverse candidates, uh, to apply to the roles in our company, at, well, industry-wide, and, um, and bring those, those diverse perspectives to the table. The other bit of advice I would give students is to not put too much pressure on yourself to get it all right the first time. Um, much like myself, your path could be very non-linear. You might not really know what you want to do right away, and that's okay. Um, we need to be patient with ourselves and and uh, and feel some things out, and and really, you know, if if what your career looks like in the next five to ten years isn't the same as what it's going to look like through to retirement, that's okay too, right? You make the choices that work for you at, at in the moment, and don't put too much pressure on yourself.